Hello. Today I'd like to discuss the fennel red indicator. First of all, the fennel red indicator can be obtained at a place like Walmart rather inexpensively um, and uh, in the pool area. And it uh, determines the pH of a solution of your pool or spa. Um, generally you want the pH, at least of the spa, I don't have a pool, uh, to be in this range of about uh, 7.4 to 7.8. Um, below 7.2, the fennel red indicator is in the acid form and it's yellow. It doesn't matter how much lower you are, it pretty much stays yellow. You have 100% of the acid form. And above 7.8, it's pink and that's the base form of the fennel red indicator. So it's really uh, good in this narrow range between 7.2 and 7.8. Uh, in the next part, I'm going to show you uh, how it works. Okay, we have uh, five solutions here. We're going to check out the fennel red indicator. We have 0.1 molar HCl. Uh, we have uh, vinegar, just a uh, household vinegar, tap water, milk of magnesia, which is magnesium hydroxide, uh, suspension of solid magnesium hydroxide oxide and water and down here we have ammonia household ammonia so I'm going to add five drops you can see it's yellow with the by the way 0.1 molar uh, hydrochloric acid is about like stomach acid this is vinegar it's also yellow tap water and let me mix this up a little better it's kind of pinkish so it might be just a little on the high end milk of magnesia and uh, you can see that that's uh, really more pink this is kind of a reddish orange and finally the uh, ammonia and although the milk of magnesia because it has that milky color looks a little different than the ammonia they're both in the pink range so uh, let me just mix this up a little better you can see um, the colors here, um, kind of the yellow for the HCl and the uh, acetic acid. Intermediate for water, tap water can be basic, it can be slightly acidic, usually it's sometimes it's more slightly basic. Magnesium hydroxide, we'll talk about that in, in a later video. Milk of magnesia, which is uh, on the basic side and the ammonia. So there you go. Um, you can get um, this indicator, as I said, at Walmart. It's very inexpensive. And um, do tests of uh, different things. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.